Hi folks, Eric with Bailey Industrial and uh, we're going to look at our horizontal press brake here today. This is the HPB 45, uh, 45 ton machine. We offer a 45 and a 78 ton machine and we're going to go through the controller, go through some of the tooling options and uh, hopefully answer some questions in doing so. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the controller. It's a pretty simple controller. Uh, it's all touch screen. We'll go through some of those functions on here. So on the console here on the main operating screen, you've got your e-stop. Uh, you've got your pump on, pump off button. Uh, and then you've got the two buttons here, which need to be depressed simultaneously to move the machine. So you can move the machine via hand operation or with the foot pedal. And this is the switch that designates whether you want to use the hand operation or the foot pedal operation. So if you have it on the foot pedal, you'll only be able to move the machine by pressing the foot pedal. And if it's in the hand position, you have to use the buttons on the machine to return and extend the tool. Uh, and then over here, we've got our bend modes. So we've got a jog mode, we have a manual mode, and then we have continuous. So our jog mode is for tool setup to get the stroke distance that you want on the die uh, set correctly to do a test bend, let's say, um, and make sure your bend degree is going to come out correctly. Um, that is where you're going to save those positions and create basically a program from it. Once that program is created, then you can run in manual mode or in continuous mode and do a production of parts and get accurate repeatability throughout that program. So the first thing we're going to discuss is jog mode uh, and basically how to, to set up a preliminary program on this screen. It's pretty simple. Uh, in program mode, you can put up to a total of 50 programs. And to do that, you just touch that field and punch in that number uh, or that program that you want to go to. Let's say you want to go to program number two. In this case, just hit enter and it takes you to that program number two if there was one saved in the controller for it. Um, step is how many functions you want within that one program. You can have up to 10 steps within one bend program. Um, so you can set those up progressively. Um, your back and forward position is referring to the bend die itself. So in the back position, it's referring to how far back you want this die to travel when it opens up and releases from making the bend. Uh, completely adjustable, you can just touch that field enter in that number and hit enter. In this case, I'll just put eight in there. Hit enter and it changes. Same thing with the forward position. Uh, forward position is going to correlate to how far the die is going to travel forward and meet up with that punch die. Um, and that's going to ultimately determine the bend degree. Um, you got to be careful uh, here because the machine has enough power to contact the tooling and damage the tooling. Um, so you do have to be aware of that and move cautiously when you're setting it up. But this is where you're setting that field. So again, you're going to touch that screen and put in uh, your value. In this case, I'll just put like 1.2 uh, and hit enter. And now we've got a retract of 8 and, and a forward of 8.2. So there's going to be real minimal travel right now on this particular program. Once you make those adjustments, uh, it is important to remember to hit save uh, because without doing so, it's going to default back to where it was last saved and you'll lose all your settings. So it's important to hit save after setting up every step within that program. So now that we've kind of discussed jog mode and how to set up the screen uh, to get the correct tool travel, now we're going to switch and actually, let's say, run that part. Um, so we're going to switch to manual mode and at this case, the screen changes and a few more fields pop up. Uh, you get a piece count uh, screen on here that'll show and pop up and you get this other value that says end in it. And basically what that is is gonna be uh, your maximum uh, positions you want within that program. This is program number two, whoops. And uh, basically what that's telling you is that we're starting on step one and we're ending on 10, meaning there is literally 10 bend cycles within this one program. Um, that's just a way to limit uh, that program and when it hits number 10 it's going to return right back to number one and run it again. Um, so that needs to have be set 
for how many stations you want within that program. Uh, so in this case right now, with that all set, what would happen is that when the machine's running, you would move the die. When I release the buttons or take my foot off the foot pedal, the die will return back home uh, on its own. Um, and likewise with continuous, when you switch to continuous, now you're into full bend production. You hit the foot pedal, uh, tooling will actuate and move, and then return back to its back uh, current position for the next bend. So now that we've discussed a little bit about the controller, we're going to tie this all together now and actually uh, fire the machine up, move the tool around, and show you how we're actually adjusting it and kind of help it make all make sense here. Um, so first thing, we're going to fire up the machine here, turn the pump on. And we're in the hand mode right now, so everything that's going to move that tool is going to be done by a push of a button. If we flip that switch, we're now on the foot pedal function, so that would then constitute using the foot pedal uh, to move everything. So we'll just leave it on the hand for now. So I'm in jog mode, so uh, really nothing is set at this point. Jog mode is your setup mode. So what we're going to do is move our tool uh, forward here to a specific point. Uh, at this point, you would have a piece of material in the machine and be doing a test bend effectively and then you'd put a protractor on that material see how the bend came out um, and set up your position so let's say um, we stop at that point we take our material out and we check what our bend is um, if I like the position of this die then I want to save it and to do that I want to go to the forward bend uh, station here and hit current position it's going to update that current position and then I want to hit save. So now it's only going to travel forward to this distance. So we're going to get good repeatability that way. Um, and same thing with the retract. Now when I want to back this die up, I'm just going to hit this button here. It's going to back the die up. And maybe you don't need a lot of clearance. Maybe you just want a little bit of travel. You don't want a large area, a lot of excess travel, so you can speed the process up. Um, if that's enough room for you, then same thing here. On the back position, you're going to hit CP, which means current position. It's going to update that, and you're going to hit save. And now it is a saved program, basically, with one cycle in it. So that's how you would set up one cycle. If you were to set up another cycle within Ben program number one, and remember, we can have 10 Ben programs or stations within one program, total of 50 Ben programs. So uh, quite, a, quite a few. Just hit step two, hit the plus key. Now you're in number two step. And you do the same functions, setting up all those different uh, travels, basically, to get maybe different bend degrees. Maybe you have a complex part of some kind. So that is kind of the process there. So now that this one station is set, maybe it's just one bend that you're trying to make. Uh, then the next thing you can do is switch to manual or continuous mode and do full production and not have to push buttons um, and whatnot. Because again, this is jog mode, so if I press these buttons, move the die forward, it will travel past these values because it's in jog mode. You need to be in manual mode or in continuous mode for it to understand and use your values that you just set in jog mode. So now in manual mode, uh, what I can do is set a piece count, um, and at that point, the machine will stop and cycle back to the beginning of that program. Um, so now when I hit the buttons, because I'm still in hand mode, to move that die forward, it's going to get to that 7.47 uh, value for the forward position and stop and not retract until I take my fingers off the buttons. Because I'm in manual mode, it automatically is going to retract to our 1.99 value. And because we had step two in there, it automatically advanced to step, step two of that program. We don't have anything really in here to use, but um, that's why that called for that. So what we would do here, I'd actually just take this and zero this out or just put one in there. So now what it's going to do is just use this one program only and not go to another program. So same thing in continuous mode. If you put it in continuous, Hit the buttons, same kind of thing is going to happen. It's going to approach that 7.47 position we have set and retract on its own without me even releasing the buttons. So it's a little bit faster of a process. 
And same thing with the foot pedal. If we put it on the foot pedal, we come down here and just use our foot pedal, hands free. Now we have our hand on the actual material maybe. Gets to our value and retracts on its own and I still have my foot on the pedal. It's going to do it no matter uh, where, where you're pressing or where your foot is pressing. It's going to go right back to uh, the end when it's in continuous mode. So another adjustment on the machine is our tonnage adjustment, uh, which is very flexible, easy to get to. Go counterclockwise to lower that tonnage, clockwise to increase it to its max. Um, so there might be instances where you do not need 45 tons um, and you can adjust that and only use what you need. So very handy and easy to get to.